My mommy, Chief Mrs. Titi Lola Urukemi Nelson, was larger than life. She had a way to make every single person feel very special, regardless of who they were. She had many sons and daughters. Everybody was either an Aegon, an Aburo, a cousin. At some point, we lost count. She was big on fashion, even bigger on style. My mom would say, Emi Oshe, Yawa Omowo. But God help me if I attempt to leave the house, looking anyhow. She would quickly arrange me and give me clothes to wear. She found time. I honestly don't know how she did it, but when we were younger, she inspected our school uniforms down to our socks. Our school shoes had better be bright and shiny. She did everything to make sure we were comfortable, protected, and loved. My mom showed up randomly at school, even at my office. Nobody could ever tell me that my mommy was too busy for me. It's impossible. She made time. My phone rang every single day, unfailingly at 6 a.m. Yeye was calling to pray with me and for me. She also knew Fayokumi and Feikemi would be getting ready for school at that time. And she would pray for them too. She did the exact same thing for my brothers and her bonus children. My husband, Uluwale, and our Iyawo, Tululokwe. My own children are in trouble because I'm going to do the exact same thing to them. She loved to celebrate people and celebrate life. There were, very, there were many firsts for her. The first day of the month, first day of school, first day of the year, first Sunday, first day at work, first everything. She wanted to celebrate everything. When I was younger, I wonder why she made such a fuss, but now I understand. My mother would dress us up to go to church every Sunday in Lagos Island. We looked like wrapped Christmas gifts. She never did anything in small measures. She loved our friends as much as she loved us. The moment you introduce someone to her as your friend, it's all over for that person. Even if the person got in trouble and called her, she would sort them out without hesitation, without even telling us. She even went as far as trying to match make several of them. My mommy was the fixer. There was no problem too big or too small for her to solve. In fact, many times I would be afraid to tell her that I needed help with something. She would drop everything she was doing to be there for me. God help you that I report you to my mommy. At some point, I'll be the one begging on your behalf for her to stop. Tolu Lokwe and I have had ease in marriage. Market, okay. <laughs> Yehe had somebody for everything. All we had to do was send her our shopping list. In fact, many times she would call randomly and say, the driver is on the way to your house to deliver us to Yam, Gary, Agbalimo. And I'm looking at my kitchen like, where am I going to put all of these things? Mommy, I miss you so much. My life has not been the same since Sunday, July 17th, 2022. I am unable to comprehend your absence, but I thank God for the life you lived, an impactful life, a life of purpose and the beautiful memories. I pray that we will always continue to make you proud. There are moments when I wish I could roll back the clock and take all the sadness away, but I have the feeling that if I did, the joy will be gone as well. I miss you, mommy. I may be there.